Happy New Year, mother-in-law. Yes, Happy New Year. I look forward to working with you this year, Lisa San. I am Lisa. This is the first New Year's Day after our marriage. My husband and I are at my husband Kevin's parents' house. How are you doing these days, Mom? It's been a while since Father passed away, and you must having a hard time on your own. Since father-in-law passed away two years ago, mother-in-law has been living here alone. We kept in touch casually and had dinner together once in a while to socialize. Yes, it was a lonely day for a while, but the truth is, I'm home. Kevin's already here, brother. It's rare that you come back to your parents' house on New Year's. Daniel, it's rare for you to come back to your parents' house on New Year's Day. Really? Well, I'm going to start living here from today. Oh, uh, really? Is that so? Also, I got married, so I'm calling this girl Rinda. Nice to meet you. Wow, really? Kevin, hello. Nice to meet you. It's like this. You two don't have to worry anymore. Daniel came to our house with Rinda. Don't worry. Good. Mother-in-law looks really happy. I thought it would have been a change for living alone, lonely to a lively life. About two months later, Kevin and I decided to drop by my parents' house to see my mother-in-law for the first time in a while. I hope I didn't surprise her by suddenly coming over. Do you think these snacks will be enough? Don't worry, just feel free to drop by. Hey, what the hell is this food? I, I can't eat this food. You even threw away my books without my permission. Kevin, that was your brother's voice, wasn't it? Yeah. What the hell is going on? Oh, it started again. Every day these days, it's disturbing the neighborhood. I've heard that her older son came home. I wonder if Alice is okay. Kevin, let's go inside once. I'm home. Is mom home? Kevin, what's wrong, Lisa San? Mother-in-law, how are you? I wanted to see your face, so I came here. Well, you say that to make me happy. Come on, get up. Thanks for having us. Hello, Rinda. Hello. Um. I bought you a souvenir, so please eat it if you like. Hey, I'm talking to you, so at least answer me. Kevin, come on, let's have some tea. But, Mum, what the hell is going on here? It's not normal, right? Is it? It's not like they are rebellious junior high school students. Are you all right, mother-in-law? I could hear the brother was yelling from outside just now. It's not good for the neighbors, is it? It's embarrassing. Are you in this situation every day? You can't stand it. It's crazy, isn't it? Mom, you don't have to force yourself to be with them. Kevin, it's all right. Daniel is just spoiled at his parents' house for the first time in a while. Rinda San is just taking time to get to know each other. I'm sure time will solve everything. That day, I believed in my mother-in-law's positive words, but a few weeks later, I received a rare phone call from Daniel. Hey, Kevin, is your mother there? What's going on? What's going on? It's okay if she's not here. She hasn't come home since yesterday. What do you mean? Where have you been since yesterday? 
I don't know. That's why I called you. I don't care if you're not here. I don't care if you're not here. Hey, if you just shut up and listen, what's with that way of talking to my mother? Shut up. See you later. Hey! Kevin, what's wrong with mother-in-law? She hasn't come home since yesterday. What? Wait, I'll call her. Mother-in-law? Why doesn't she answer? It's 12 o'clock now. I'll look for her before it gets dark again. Maybe she's near her parents' house. Oh, wait. What's wrong? When I helped my mother-in-law set up her phone before, I wrote down the password. If I can find out where the phone is with that... You'll find it. Kevin, she's coming near our house. I think she's at the park down the street. What? Let's go right now. Mother! Kevin, Lisa too. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's not. Mother-in-law, why are you here? After all, it is because of my brother? What the hell are they thinking? Alright, I'm going to my parents' house now. Stop! Please, stop. I've worked hard enough. I've had enough. Mother. I couldn't stand the sight of my mother-in-law's exhausted face. Where did that cheerful and gentle mother-in-law's usual smile go? Mother-in-law. You don't have to go back to that house anymore. Huh? You will live in our house from now on. Lisa, you... Isn't it natural? I've never seen your mother-in-law's face like this. I can't go back to that house anymore. That's right. Mother-in-law, since it's so sudden, this house is not in good shape, but... Would you like to come live with us? Thus, we came to live together. We are both working, so I will be away during the day. But I will make sure everything is set up so that you can relax freely. Lisa-san, thank you. You don't have to do too much housework. You can take it easy today. Lisa, I'm going to my parents' house today and get the documents and valuables my mother needs. Okay, thanks. I'm off, mother-in-law. What? The house is so clean. Is this your mother all by herself? It's not a big deal. I'll take care of the housework. Mother-in-law, in such a short time you are a professional housekeeper, aren't you? That's amazing! I'm allowed to stay here. I should be able to do this much. I can't believe I'm staying at your place. Please, make yourself at home. But it's a great help. Thank you. I'm home. Oh, welcome home. Did you get her valuable safely? Well, I want to talk slowly, so uh, let's talk over dinner. Okay, and then, during the meal, I heard a shocking fact. Oh my god! Your brother doesn't work? Yeah, he's completely at home, and I was a bit nervous. Where's that wife? She wasn't home, just the two of them. What the hell are you doing? Did you bring her valuables? Yes, I left something in my room, and I gave some money to my brothers who were lounging around, looking bored, and told them to go out for dinner. They were happy to leave. I'm kind of pissed off, but I guess it can be helped. I checked the contents with my mother a while ago, but her pension, insurance, bank book, and other things are all fine. Thank you, Kevin. By the way, Mother-in-law, have they not been working since they came for New Year's? That's right. 
I was so happy that they were coming to our house without talking to them properly or agreeing on living expenses or anything like that. I was just happy that they were coming to our house. Normally, people don't think their sons are jobless. I heard they got married, so I thought maybe I could see my grandchildren. So I got my hopes up a little too high. How was the wife with you, mother-in-law? It's the same. She never spoke to me either. I can't believe it. But when I lived alone, I was very quiet and lonely. So, no matter how much noise Daniel made, I thought he was cute. Even so, that was just too much. Yes, and when he realized that, I ran out of the house. Was there anything that triggered it? Actually, Daniel and his family don't have any income because they don't work. They were making it with my pension for their daily expenses. One day, they lost a lot of money playing slot machines. That's terrible. Not only did he lose, but because he didn't have any money on hand, he sold the watch that was a memento of my father-in-law's, which I had carefully left on the altar. Oh no! What's wrong with Daniel? I thought so. I couldn't stand it and jumped out. Mother-in-law. She was laughing as she spoke, but she must have been very sad and frustrated. I would never let her feel that way in this house. Hey, Kevin, open up! Oh, brother? What do you want this hour? Hey, you're hiding an old lady here. Bring her out. Even if she was here, she wouldn't give her to you guys. Don't talk big to me, hey! Old lady, we're going home, come out! Hey, don't come out of nowhere and start yelling, you're bothering me! What is this, you guys, that's enough! Brother, using my mother as a money grabber, what you're doing is on an 8th grade level. Huh? You don't work, you just stay at home, don't you? What are you talking about? I'm just taking a break right now. And when I went by my parents' house the other day, it was a huge dump. What in the world are you doing all day long? What in the world are you two doing all day long? It's too tacky. You're just going to act like you're the one who should shut up and listen to me. It's true, isn't it? I'm sure you've sold off most of the money in the house, and now that you don't have any more cash, you have no choice but to call your mother back. I know that. I have no use for a house with no money, so I'll just sell the whole house. That's no use! Mom! Daniel, that house has been in your name since your father left. But there are still 15 years left on the mortgage. What? Even if we sell it off, I'll be about the same or maybe even negative. They made such a mess, made a mess, ran riot, broke things. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Oh, I'm sorry, it was funny. I used to pay you every month, but I don't do that anymore, so you have to do it right. What's that? I've been listening to your selfishness for the past few months without telling you. Where do you think the money I paid to fulfill your selfishness came from? We can't afford to take care of you anymore. We are just a normal family. Are you kidding me? I'm going home with the money right now. I'm not leaving. Daniel, are you serious about what you just said? <laughs> uh, I think there must be some mistake. 
That's terrible. I got into the marriage because you said I don't have to work and I don't have to do housework because I have a housekeeper. Rinda, wait a minute. If the conditions have changed, then I can't be with this really annoying family. Rinda, don't say that. I can't be with a debt ridden dude. Rinda! I thought you had more money, but you didn't at all, and you lied to me. Wait a minute! Daniel also jumps out of the way in a panic. But what in the world is that Rinda woman? Indeed, she is a woman whose identity is completely unknown. I think it would be better to investigate her properly once, don't you? I decided to hire a detective agency to find out what really happened to my brother and his wife. Lisa, what are you looking at? Kevin, I'm sorry. Actually, I didn't tell you, but I had someone to investigate about your brother and his wife. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and then... I found out that Rinda was sending her brother's money and spending lavishly at host clubs, that she was heavily in debt because of it, and she seemed to have several daddy figures in addition to her brother, and that she was living a life of going from one man's house to another whenever she was in need of money. I'm going to go to your brother and tell him to break up with her. What's going on, my brother? Brother, are you there? Kevin, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, brother, your wife is a terrible woman. Ah, uh, you mean Rinda. I've already broken up with her. Leave her alone. Are you divorced? That was quick. I've got no more money. I'm no longer needed. Look at this pile of bills. Hey, Kevin, you're going to do something, right? What? You're getting money from that old woman, right? That's why you're going to live with her. Of course not. She's your own mother. You deserve to help her. Brother, are you awake yet? Lisa, let's go. Lisa, let's go. It seems we live in completely different worlds. Hey, 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 wait! Your brother was a shock, wasn't he? What's wrong? Lisa, you don't look so good. Don't push yourself. Thank you, mother-in-law. Yes, we have to protect this house and your mother-in-law. You don't have to work too hard either, mother-in-law. With your mother-in-law here, every day is really comfortable and easy to live with. Just saying that is enough for me. I'm a lucky woman. I wonder how your brother is doing. I asked the detective agency I relied on last time to find out how my brother was doing. Sure enough, the family home was foreclosed and the house where his father-in-law found out was lost. The brother is also missing. But I don't feel sorry for him. They have treated my mother-in-law so terribly and there is no way they will get away with it for free. They are adults, so they should deal with each other. Lisa-san, it looks like it's time for baby Tan's milk. I'll clean up. Can I ask you to do it for me? Yes, thank you. Then I was blessed with a child and gave birth safely. Now I live with Kevin, my mother-in-law, and this child with my family of four. My mother-in-law, who is a professional housewife, is a really perfect mother, watching over us without interfering too much with our upbringing. My mother-in-law is working part-time now, but she is also very motivated to take care of the children, so I plan to go back to work without hesitation. We will all work together as a family and live happily ever after. <laughs>